to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing some farmhouse upcycled decor and then also a couple of DIYs. I, I have been trying to brighten up our home. I feel like a lot of the furniture that we have is like dark and it just makes this house feel a little bit like claustrophobic I guess because we do have low ceilings we don't have a lot of natural light so all the dark furniture just kind of makes this place look a little depressing sometimes so I have been trying to brine stuff up so today I'm going to be doing some entryway hallway decor and I am going to be repurposing a little table that I have there it's like a very slim narrow um, meant for a narrow hallway table and then again some other decor if you guys are excited for that make sure you guys stick around and if this is your first time here welcome Thank you so much for joining me. I would love it if you guys did stick around by subscribing to my channel and hitting the bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. Let me know also which one of these DIYs and upcycles is your favorite in the comments down below. Let's get on to the DIYs and upcycles. All right, so this DIY is one that I already shared with you guys before, but I am going to be decorating the entryway table with it, so I wanted to go ahead and share it again. From Dollar Tree, I will be using one of these tall, tall vases. Um, they do have them every once in a while. I try to stock up when I see them. And then also one of these milk-looking container things. <laughs> um, and then three of these decorative nautical ropes. And just to paint the vase, um, the milk vase, what is this? Milk bottle? A milk bottle, right? <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and start painting it with some um, chalkboard paint from Dollar Tree. You guys can use any type of black paint that you want. This is just the one that I use. And then after that, I will be taking two different colors silver um, and just kind of tapping it, tapping it onto the vase to give it like a galvanized look. Don't get around, but there's something about you, something about you I like, about you I like. When gluing the rope on there, you guys can go a little bit higher, but I feel like the bottom vase is a little bit more narrow. So if you put it right where you attach both um, the vase and then the milk bottle, it's going to be a little bit more even um, all the way along. So from the milk bottle all the way down to the rope, if that makes sense. You're crazy for saying I should slow down But maybe I'm escaping the love we found There's something about you Something about you I like About you I like I get too drunk and too scared and On this next DIY, I'm going to be making this super cute topiary and I don't know what happened to the footage for the base or the stand. I tried looking for it, but it was like a couple months ago that I made this, so I don't remember where it went. So I just took one of these Dollar Tree wooden rounds and if you guys can see, I took these little beads, um, just put them on some flexible Dollar Tree wire and just wrapped it around the bottom and then I added the bigger one inch beads that I do have linked below. I actually had to use a newer link because the ones that I've been using before, um, I guess they were unavailable. Uh, and then I did attach it into a skewer as you guys can see. Everything's pretty simple, just glue the beads, put the beads on the skewer and then glue it down. Um, sorry, I guess I'm a little bit behind on what you guys are seeing. So that little foam ball that you guys see there, I got it at Good will I don't remember how much it was I am just gonna attach it on the end of the skewer and I will be putting some hot glue on there to attach it and then I will be using some adhesive spray to add my moss and then also some hot glue along the way and I do like cutting up the moss because it does kind of tend to stick together and it has like big clumps so I cut it up so that it's nice and even I'm just too scared to settle down There'd be many nights 
I got too high and almost left town. But there's something about you, something about you I like, about you I like. I get too drunk and too scared and lie to you. If only you knew I would die for you. One of us, one of us, gotta say the Alright, so on these next ones, at first I wanted to make a candle holder, but I feel like I make candle holders all the time. How many candle holders can you make, you know? Uh, so I did something a little bit different, like a stand. You can use it for a plant, you can use it for a candle. Um, so I'm going to be using two of these wooden plaque thingies from Dollar Tree, and they do come in a pack. Um, and then also some of these one inch beads, again, those will be linked down below. And I do have some dowels from Walmart, but you can also find them at Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to start attaching them um, to the dowel. So I put a little bit of hot glue into the, be into the bead and then put the dowel inside. So I am gluing these at the bottom. Um, one of them I am going to do with two beads and then the other one will be four beads on each corner just to make it a little bit taller. And you guys saw there I just kind of measured out where that bead's going to go and cut. Um, just underneath that mark I made just so that that skewer doesn't or the dowel doesn't stick out of the bead and yeah just stuck it back in there and then I did that for all four corners as you can see here so I did want the other one a little bit taller I did end up using four beads on each I think I already said that but when you guys see it I only use three and I thought about it over and over and instead of painting it I'm just gonna leave it natural um, you guys feel free to paint it or stain it any way you want All right, so for this sign, I am actually reusing one that I did for fall. It had like pumpkin pies and autumn skies or something like that. So I'm just going to switch it around. And you guys can see I'm just taking the letter stickers off with an X-Acto knife. And you can see that it left the um, shadow of it. So I did go over it with a little bit of paint um, just to cover that up. And this is the original video. I used one of these signs from Dollar Tree. I did end up cutting about an inch or so from each end. I mean, I guess you could cut two inches from one end. Doesn't really matter as long as you cut it to the size that you want. And then taking some of the Dollar Tree blocks, um, I am going to make a frame. And I think I used 11 for the bottom and top and then three for the sides, which I guess if you turn it around to the sign that I'm doing now, it's three for the top and the bottom, 11 for the sides. <laughs> Does that make sense? Anyway, whatever. I guess you guys can make it as big as you want um, or as long as you want. And, you know, I do use my square to make it a little bit more even.
Okay, so after I painted the board and stained the blocks, I am going to be using some super glue to glue the the frame down. I didn't want to use um, hot glue just because I do want this to last a little bit longer and obviously I reused it for a second one so that's just fine. Uh, yeah after that's done I mean it's pretty simple how to make the frame and you guys I was going to use some decals but you know what I just went ahead and decided to do my own handwriting and I actually did get a Cricut and I'm super excited because I've always wanted one. Um, I know this has nothing to do with what I'm doing right now at all. Well kind of actually. Um, so before I start using my Cricut I'm still going to bust out my handwriting skills and even though sometimes it's not perfect you know what it works with what I'm doing so you guys can see I'm just freehanding my letters instead of using either decals or the rub-on transfers and you guys practice makes perfect so if you don't have good handwriting just keep practicing and you'll be fine this little love um, sign it's actually one of those metal ones that comes in a pack from Dollar Tree and this was from like the Valentine's Day pack uh, I just spray painted it spray painted it with a matte black spray paint and then um yeah I'm just gonna hot glue it to my sign and usually when you put hot glue on metal it dries super super fast so just be try to, or just try to be quick when you glue it down but try not to burn yourself and then I'm gonna be using one of these uh glass pens from Dollar Tree to do the rest of my lettering and at the end I will sand it down a little bit just to look more distressed and to go with my theme Okay, so the inspiration for this video is this really narrow entryway table that I got years ago and I thought I did an amazing job the first time I flipped it. So it's just a brown old table that I got from Craigslist and then some hardware from um, Habitat for Humanity Restore that I painted black and then gold on the hardware. So we're going to go ahead and turn it into this beautiful farmhouse style um, entryway table and again my hallway is very narrow so I was really happy that I actually found this table so yeah I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of the close-up and the table is like a plasticky type of material it's not actual wood um, but yeah I when I redid it I just spray painted it with like spray paint and distressed it or so I thought and I thought it looked amazing but now that I look at it it's actually kind of bugs but I'm still on the ground It's a dizzying day All right, so here's my hardware. I spray painted it gold the first time around. This time around, I'm gonna be using this textured spray paint in black and then the ultra matte spray paint, I actually used as a primer sort of for like my first coat. And the paint that I'm using for my um, final coats is from Walmart. I know I usually use like the Home Depot or Lowe's paint, um, but I had 
had to run to Walmart so I picked this one up and I did end up doing like three coats or something like that by the way you guys I absolutely hate these brushes like I don't every time I do the strokes like the little like hairs or whatever they're called like the bristles come off and I don't know I, I'm not like super professional at painting or anything like that Anyway, we gave it a few coats and then after it's done, I just took one of my sanding pads or one of my sanding sheets and just started sanding away. Um, you know, I'm not like going too crazy on it because the paint comes off pretty easily and I'm just going like on the edges and stuff and I will distress it a little bit more like on the top. And after that, I'll just put my hardware on and that's pretty much it. All right, you guys, last but not least, I'm going to show you guys how I made this uh, chalkboard. And I guess I could have made a bigger frame for it, but I'm only using stuff that I had laying around. Um, so I have one of these sheets left over from my pantry door makeover and then also some of these dowel looking things like the thicker dowels um, and that's what I decided to use for my frame I did have one that was like a lot thicker but I didn't think I was gonna have enough and honestly it was super late at night I did not feel like going outside and turning on my saw and cutting like the wood and stuff and since these are pretty thin I can just use my hand saw because you know what sometimes you just gotta go old school and you know use some elbow grease and you're good so <laughs> I don't think it looks bad anyway uh, but yeah, everything is super self-explanatory, so I more than likely will just let you guys watch. Um, I am, oh, actually, on this part uh, for the chalkboard paint, I always get so confused by it because it looks blue. I just don't understand the concept. Anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and drizzle it on my board here, and instead of using a paintbrush, I will be using this sponge that's for like car washing or whatever. I found it in the automotive section at Dollar Tree and I think it worked amazing. So I'm gonna do my first layer like that and then the next couple layers I will just pat it on there to give it some texture. And then I am gonna be painting the, the um, frame white and then sanding it down a little bit and that's it you guys. After that, you know, just kinda Put your chalk on the board, draw it, like wipe it off, and then that way you can write on it and it looks nice. Oh, 
guys, that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for joining me once again. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you guys leave me a thumbs up. Leave me your comments or questions down below. You guys can hear Milani. She's over here. Uh, maybe she'll come and say hi in a little bit. If I don't see you guys beforehand or if you guys don't see me, I wish you guys a very, very Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. And hopefully I'll be back before the New Year. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. You want to go? Yeah. You want to give me a busy dose? <laughs> you want to give me a busy Oh, thank you. I have holes? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Say bye guys. Bye guys. <laughs> Alright, see ya. See ya girl. See ya girl.